Hello guys, welcome back! Today we're gonna learn how to make a snake game in Scratch. Though you can find other Scratch tutorials in my channel, which might be helpful for you. Let's take a look at this game. We'll do this in 4 steps. First of all, move your snake with arrow buttons, put foods to be eaten, change the length of snake and stop the game. Let's start with adding a snake to our sprite. You can actually upload a good photo for the snake's head, or you can draw a specific one if you're talented. I personally have drawn snake's head, and now I'm gonna upload it as a custom here, as you can see, and then I'm gonna name it a head or a snake's head or something like this. Then we need a body for our snake to follow our snake's head. You can draw whatever you prefer for body, though I wanna draw a circle, and the color is the same as our head. Okay, it's time for coding to our snake. We need our body to follow our head and to be in the back layer to not cover our head. So we need a green flag and after that forever go to head. But we need to be in the back layer. So we go to looks buttons and go to back layer. Okay, it's okay. Uh, we're going to follow our head and be in the back layer. After that, we're going to design our arrow buttons. So we need a, a button, a green button is good. And we need some arrow signs here. So we're going to add as a custom here. And then we're going to combine the button and the arrow together to create our buttons. Next up, we're gonna make our buttons interactive. So we're gonna add when does a sprite clicked broadcast new message, same as the name of our button. For example, for up button, we broadcast up message and so on for other buttons. snake move with this button. Since we need a constant move for our snake, we're gonna make a forever loop and add move 10 steps here. And then we're gonna receive our button's message to change the direction of movements. That's it. Here we need to put some food sprites and add some other fruits as custom to show them randomly one after another. Let's put it in a random position to not guess where it is. If we don't want to be touched with buttons or even edge, we're gonna add some conditional blocks and put if with or operator.
these elements, the food will go to another random position. We will do this for snake's head and body as well. For adding our snake's tail, for having a tail, we can create some clones here. And we're gonna say that uh, when I start as a clone, wait for a second and then delete this clone. We know that the more seconds the clone is, the longer tail we have. With this concept, we can create a new variable for the length of the tail and put it as a weight number. Don't forget to set the length to zero at the start point. And whenever we eat those foods, we're going to add 0.2 to the length. step is to create a rule to stop the game and you can say if we touch the edge we're gonna stop the game and uh, we're gonna broadcast the game over message right here and we're gonna duplicate it to the head of snake and then we're going to add or upload a game over or we can write it down here uh, as in a sprite so we can have some animations and um, some uh, interesting uh, designs for it. For setting an animation, we can change the size of Game Over and make it bigger and bigger to be a little bit more attractive. So, first of all, we're going to set the size to 10 and then we're going to hide it. And after that, when we receive Game Over, we're going to change the size 9% for 10 times and we're going to make it bigger. Uh, and we can say that whenever we receive the Game Over uh, message, we're going to hide all of other sprites, as we can uh, see. And after that, uh, just the Game Over is going to show uh, in our screen. The trouble is our game over size is more than we want and the code has just gone in a bad loop. The solution is just to change the position of a snake to not be on edge anymore. Another thing that I forgot to mention is to change the foods custom randomly. might be cooler if you had a background here. Let's have an overview to the codes. The snake's head. The snake's body. Arrow bottoms. And the food. game over sprites and now the game is over and you can see the result much for watching hope you liked this tutorial and if so please hit the like button and subscribe don't forget to watch other videos on my channel and see you soon bye